<laughs> we what? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, yeah. That was a that was way too much information, buddy. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to the Mod Squad, where we're just a bunch of friends talking about anything pop culture and fan box related. I'm your host, Kevin. Joining me as always is Carrie. Yo. And Felix. What's up? So guys, I got a little bit of news since uh, Comic Con shut down. The San Diego Comic Con, they are doing, they're going to be doing like a Comic Con at home. They'll be doing like panels to where you can view them online. Uh, so like a, I, I guess like a. Is it going to be a Zoom thing where they're all going to be on Zoom or what? That's what I'm thinking. There, it, it just came out not too long ago that they're going to be doing this. So there's not a whole bunch of details out right now. Uh, but there's there's going to be like a like a shop and everything. So That's the, what I was just going to ask. How are they going to sell everything through Zoom? Yes. Yeah, half I, the I'm people not... go for the news. Half the people go for the for well, a third, half and half and half. And then a third goes for the uh, the halls, all age, and then a the third goes for shopping. Yeah, it, it, to paraphrase what the news article says, it says Comic-Con at Home promises exclusive panels and presentations about comics, gaming, television, film, and a wide variety of topics from publishers, studios, and more. Mm. I wonder if like they're going to charge like the same, like the normal price, or if they're going to do like a price well, break. There's no way. I think it's going to be free pretty much. I would imagine, I would imagine... It would be free, or at least, or at least a small charge. I doubt it's going to be full price for trying to get into MegaCon. I mean, so like, no celebrities, or they're going to be doing the panels. panels. Yeah, yeah, they'll be doing panels. They'll be doing like celebrity panels. I've seen some people doing this already, like small panels, and it's kind of like a Zoom meeting. Did you see the Goonies one? I saw the Goonies one. Yeah, I, did. I saw the tight. Goonies. I saw the Back to the Future one, too. Yeah, I mean, that, that one was, was awesome. I need to see that one. Yeah. Um, it does say that um, plans for Comic-Con at home include an online exhibit hall. So mm. with everyone's favorite exhibitors offering promotion, specials, and limited edition products. So I know for a fact that the uh, Marty McFly looking at his watch is a Comic-Con exclusive Funko. I've already picked really? that one. Yeah. Hmm. Check out Kevin on that one. I'm just going to say I wish I would have bought stock in Zoom six months ago, man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and it also looks like that the AMC theaters are aiming for a globally July reopening. So it looks like. I'm hearing the top three. I think the other one's Cineworld or Cine, Cine, Cine something. And then another one, there's Regal. There are, all three of them are going to be opening up. They want to be at least 80% by July. But I'm hearing about 40% of the theaters in China are not going to open up. Mm -hmm. And we, that's like the, the, one of the biggest box offices for any you know, big summer movie there is. And um, I'm hearing that they're going to lose a lot because of, of COVID. But, yeah, I'm hoping, man. I, I want to see Tenant and the big screen so bad like yesterday. Yeah, it's it, that, there's not a set date yet, but yeah, it's going to be set. gradual, and I think they're going to do it where um, so many so many percentage percentage of the theater, and they're going to practice social distancing while you're sitting down. So maybe like three seats to the side to the back. All I'm going to say is, if you have to wear a mask, how you need popcorn? I I, I eat a bucket <laughs> of popcorn every movie. Then, yeah, but I have yeah. to have a hole in my mask right here. You got to get that popcorn, man. Uh, the movie theater popcorn is the best popcorn. I'm sorry. I, it is. You cannot replicate that at home. It's very hard, in my opinion. Check it out. And I, we have uh, Harkins, and that's – I know it's not everywhere, but it's big in Arizona. And uh, you pay so much for the membership, and then every, every time you go, you get a free popcorn, or you can upgrade it for $1.50. And sometimes on my way home from Phoenix – I just stop there, go in there, 
for dollar fifty, I get popcorn and bring it home for me and the boys, man. It is that freaking good. And then I cannot watch a movie without my favorite. Red Vines. Red Vines. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> and since this is Pride Month, Supergirl's Shy Kyler Lee comes out in an emotional post. It, it looks like she uh, posted a t titled Wear Your Pride. I'm going to read it for you. It says, when I was told that my character was to come out in season two, a flurry of thoughts and emotions th flew through and around me because the responsibility I felt to authentically represent Alex's journey. Uh, basically, it she she came out she didn't say she's fully lesbian she just came out and said that what her character went through is what she felt basically so it, so did she come out in real life or yeah she she came oh, out gotcha a note on shyler that her uh, company put out is please respect she hasn't labeled her sexuality so don't do it for her that's disrespecting her choice i think it's safe to say she has admitted her sexuality is not straight, but nothing more. It's fine to be happy for her and us as fans. Just respect, just be respectful. And that moves us on to mail call. I'm going to start this mail call because I'm super excited with mine. I am a Back to the Future fan, and I finally got me a Jennifer. Nice. Miss Claudia Wells. That's not Jennifer. Jennifer was on Ventures and Babysitting. <laughs> Elizabeth Shue. Elizabeth Shue, man. Oh my God. Uh, if I could get me an Elizabeth Shue, that'd be awesome. I need Elizabeth Shue and I need um, George McFly. I need I need him. I have one of the Georges. I, I got the George from two and three, which is Jeffrey Wiseman. But all right, Felix, do you have anything for Mail Call? So, yes, I got a couple of things, Kevin. I got. Signed by you know that signature right there, Kevin. I do. I have one just like it. Ken Effin. Oh, go ahead, Mr. Ken Hazer. We can love Ken Hazer. There's something about his art, and you can tell with the faces and like with the Bane one you got. Kevin, mm -hmm. that he, he just, he's got his, that style, and, and I really like, I'm liking that. So um, I got this from a really good uh, a friend, so obviously not Kevin, and my kids know I'm a huge Walking Dead fan. I got, boom, All Out War. 9.8, wow. 9.8, it's a mega box exclusive. The um, graded, uh, what are these things called? Slabs? Yeah, slabs. Mm -hmm. slabs. That's awesome, man. I think, I thought so myself, yeah. That's, that's sweet. I remember the very first one I got. Um, I think I texted right after I got it, Kevin. I'm like, I just stared at it for a half hour, man. <laughs> it, it was nice. And this, this is a good one here. It's awesome. awesome. That's all I got. Cool. Huh? Nice. What about you, Carrie? You got anything for mail yes, call? Mail call. I got this signed mini clapper by the voice of Bambi. And it's signed <laughs> by Donnie uh, Dunnigan, I believe his last name is. But yeah, I just think it's a Bambi voice of Bambi? Yeah, it's the voice of Bambi. Dude, that's sweet. I like so. that, actually. Cha -cha -cha. But yeah, that was my mail call. And now we are going to move on to questions. Remember, if we ask your question in the video, you get put into a drawing for a free full art upgrade in your next fan box. Carrie, what's a full art upgrade? You get all the pins, the regular, the 250, and the 99. And you get both art prints, the regular and the out of 500. Awesome, awesome. Any so we, box. Mm -hmm. Any yes, box. Any box. And we are going to start with A.M. It says, what is your favorite English comedy? 
Um, I'm going to go with Doctor Who because some of it's corny and some of it's funny and some of it's just stupid, but I like Doctor Who, so that's my answer. (laughs) So I'm going to go with Mr. Bean. Ooh. Oh crap, <laughs> Mr. Bean! Yeah, Mr. Yes. I've seen. I've seen as a kid. Me and my brother would sit there. I forgot what day would come on, or was it daily? And we would just tear that up. I, you know what? Forget about my choice. It's Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean, gotta love Mr. Bean. And then we have Unearth Thirty Two X asks. <laughs> Great episode. If you could be any character from Six Underground, who would you be? <laughs> one. Yeah. One, yeah. Uh, if I had to be anybody, it would definitely be one. He's rich and he's handsome and yeah. That you would really think he's okay. handsome? Ryan Reynolds is hot. I'm not yeah, going to lie. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So every time Carrie drops that oh, gift. What <laughs> No, every time Carrie drops that gift, yeah, it, it's get it's it's getting a little crazy, but yeah. <laughs> God, so you, your crazy gets a little crazy. Is what is that what you're saying, Kevin? Nope. So little high noon in uh, your sundial then? I don't know what you're talking about. How about you, Carrie? Who who would it be? Well, okay, so I've only seen the opening, um, and it may not be considered a character but i am going with the eyeball you're going you want to be the eyeball i want to be the eyeball <laughs> that moving on we have eric coppolo eric yes he asked which was your favorite tremors his was a toss-up between one and five does that mean five is seen. actually pretty good I maybe no. one i haven't seen five so but one for me, definitely one. One, one. one. the classic, yeah. the main one. Yeah. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong. Yeah, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, it's it's got to be Tremors, the original Tremors one. Yeah. Out All right, and, out. and the last question is from uh, Get Up and Work. He has, he's a first time viewer, so thank you. Sweet. So he actually sat through the Tremors episode and did. Um, no, th- this was from the one since we did uh, the Tremors. Okay. Yeah, we didn't ask a question. This one was from the one with Michael. Uh, what is your favorite guilty pleasure show or movie? I was like, no, nobody saw that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I- I'm-, I'm gonna let you know right now. Legally Blonde. I love that movie, and I like two. I like Legally Blonde two. What's different between the first one and the second one? The bend and snap. Who? <laughs> the bend and sn- no wait, that was one, wasn't it? Shh, I don't remember. Whichever one, the I, I like legally. I like both of them. So legally blonde. How about you, Carrie? Do you have a guilty pleasure movie or TV show? <sighs> yeah, it. I always like, shoot, this is harder than it's I thought. It's going to be something that we've never heard of. Oh, I, guarantee, I guarantee you it's going to be something we've never heard of. <laughs> no? Um, let me think. Felix, go ahead. Say yours. Right, um, Felix, do you have yours? Come back to me. This is hard because, you know, everything I like is, is good. Um, maybe that's the future. Hey, if that's a guilty... I don't mind that being a guilty pleasure movie. Small yeah. girl. Oh, um, something that I enjoy watching that no one else does. That's not necessarily a guilty pleasure movie. It just happens to be something that you really enjoy that is not the mainstream. Alexa, what's the definition to guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure is usually defined as Something that brings pleasure but is considered taboo, unadvisable, or low brown. <laughs> what she said. Okay. The mod squad's my guilty pleasure. Okay, so Move I'll take mine. <laughs> and, yes, Carrie, what is yours? Do you have your, any for you? Mine is Darby O'Gill and the Little People. What? Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Never heard of it, so I was right. You need, you know, you guys need to watch it. It's 
it's when I, it's like whenever when I'm sad, I can go to that movie and watch it, get happy. When I'm Ooh, happy, the little people. It's just Darby O'Gill and the Little People. It has a young Sean Connery in it, and it has little leprechauns. All right, well. with little horses. No, you guys, seriously, you need to watch it. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, it's on my list. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll it's put gonna it on be on your list. list. I'm gonna go buy you got you guys copies and mail it to you uh, so you can watch it it's along with Tanya. <laughs> it's right on the list. <laughs> all, all right. Uh, now we have the drawing for Ooh. the art upgrade. Felix has already, I believe, put all the names, or he will put all the names. And okay, there we go. This is not very many. The last yeah. one had like twenty, and. I would have been here all day. He's putting all the names there in the red vine container of happiness. Man, now I want popcorn and red vines. Dude. I'm saying, yo. Yes. I haven't had red vines in a long time. They got to be fresh. They got to be really uh, nice and soft. Quick tip, though, if you have stale hard ones, you pop them in the microwave for like 15 seconds and they're soft. Ooh, I gotta try that one. A little carry quick tip. Snack tips tip. with carry. Snack tips with carry. I like it. All right, Felix, shake them up. Shake me up before you go go. Something about a yo yo. All right. Clean hand in. Pulling it out. As we'll see it before I do. And the winner is. And there is. I cannot. It's upside down. No. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up and work. work. Get up and work. <laughs> and that's how it works, guys. That is. Ask a question. We will, if we answer it, you get put once a month in the bucket and get up and work. You will be getting all of the pins. In all of the prints for your next bound box of your choice. You need to get Any a hold questions? of Kevin, he'll hook you up. Yep. Any question it doesn't have to be band box related, it could be anything. Yeah, it, it could be anything. It, anything pop culture, anything. I think Kevin once got asked something about his forehead being shiny or something. I did, yeah. And he, his name was in the bucket. All right. So, hey guys, did you hear that Beckett? will be starting all the autographs from now on going in the band box, from box six going forward. Yes. Are you saying every autograph in every band box, Kevin, will have a Beckett COA? That is exactly what I'm saying. Every band box. So wait, wait, wait. You're saying that every autograph is going to be certified by Beckett? Every celebrity autograph will be every certified. Celebrity. Five Starting minutes. with box six. Starting with box six. Okay. That is correct. That's freaking awesome news because Beckett is like in the top three in the world. I, I put them. I want to put a, I want to say top one. Yeah. I, yeah. Because Beckett, JSA, PSA, DNA, and then all the others. That's, That's the I way I, That's the way I look at it. I mean. I, no, I, this is the way I look at it. Beckett. JSA, A A M P uh, uh, C O uh, D M A, and um, Bam, and then all the rest. There you go. I can go. I can get on that 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 uh that list right there. I can agree. I yeah. concur. Oh, so we all agree. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that's a shocking. That never happens Ooh. ever, people. Ooh. Did we, we do just not... all agree on something? Did we just become best friends? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I believe that does it for this episode of the Mod Squad. For Carrie and Felix, I'm Kevin saying keep on bamming, bammers. Stay golden. See you later. <laughs>
that does it for this episode of the bounce. Out of the bounce. Out of the bounce. Oh, shit.